Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Fallout. This is Colonel RPG and I'm so happy to have you here hanging out with me as we play this fantastic, absolutely amazing, very influential RPG. This is basically the RPG. This is this game right here. It was released in 1997, I do believe, by Interplay. Yes, 1997, down here, copyright, Interplay Productions. Um, this uh, this game was basically the main reason the Black Hill Studio uh, was founded, responsible for games like Baldur's Gate 2, like Icewind Dale, Icewind Dale 2, um, uh, Planescape Torment, I think, as well, and uh, Fallout 2, of course, um, and. This game is so influential, if you've uh, come to watch me play it, I'm sure you know it already, so it doesn't really need any introduction whatsoever, so let's get right into it. Um, before we start, there's a very, very nice uh, uh, introduction uh, movie clip uh, that sets the tone very nicely for the game. Uh, I'm not gonna um, show it right here, because I'm not sure the copyright of the song itself uh, that plays in the background is uh, gonna be uh, problematic for me so if you want to check it out just google or something uh, fallout introduction or fallout 1 original introduction theme or whatever uh, so let's let's get started so let's create a character let's not pick any of the three pre-made characters because they are not very interesting uh, so let's create a character. Our character is gonna be called Maxwell, which is a fantastic badass name for a dude of 27 years old um, that is um, helpful, kind-hearted, and good with guns, but surprisingly peaceful. He's also a thief, <laughs> so he gets his way when he feels like it, and he helps other people when he doesn't, so... It's gonna be a kind of a split personality right there. But this uh, playthrough, this, uh, this series is gonna focus on exploring the world, exploring the characters and missions as much as possible. Um, so I'm not gonna make a very unbalanced character. It's still gonna be an interesting character, don't get me wrong. But uh, we're gonna go with five strength. We got over here. We got seven um, stats, main stats. We're going uh, to go with uh, eight perception. That gives us that should give us a nice uh, ranged ability. We're gonna go with six endurance because I'm not gonna reload unless uh, we die. So if we get hit, we're gonna heal ourselves. Unless we die, uh, so this game is not what you'd call easy, so we're probably gonna die uh, gruesomely, but since it, this is not a hardcore um, roguelike or anything, so load games are permitted. So let's go with 4 Charisma. Yeah, he's a nice dude, but people don't really necessarily <laughs> see eye to eye with him, so 4 Charisma right there. Let's go with 8 Intelligence, because he needs to be a badass. We don't really have the necessary character points, let's take our luck down, because he's a dumb idiot with split personality, so yeah, 6 agility should be good for our action points, which are necessary for combat, and over down here we got traits, we got plenty of nice choices to choose from, but we are going to go with good natured and skilled, so yeah, makes him nice and um, helpful gonna go with small guns and speech and the lockpicking yes lockpicking is gonna be good at these three most mainly at these three these three skills so let's let's get started ha ah, you're here good we've got a problem a big one the controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, 
We're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? So here we are, outside Vault 13, the legendary Vault 13. Um, you, uh, uh, since we skipped the original, the initial uh, movie, you don't really know the story. So I'll uh, just go over it briefly while we grab this knife and some bullets of this poor dead. You don't really know why he's here. He seems to be wearing a similar suit to our to ours yeah. okay so basically this game the world has gone to shit and um, basically a, uh, a nuclear war happened and a bunch of people decided to survive it by building vaults on the ground and this is vault 13 but apparently this vault over here um, has a problem with this water ship so we are off to find a new one. That's about it. That's about all we're given. We got a pistol which should come in handy. Should we require Should somebody? We don't really know what happened to the world because this vault has been shut, for all we know, for around a hundred and something years. I can't remember exactly. Let's see. Let's see our pip boy down here. It's 2161, so the war happened in 2077, as far as I can recall. So almost a hundred years have passed since the uh, apocalypse, basically. So this is post-apocalyptic stuff. So we got a dungeon. Oh, we got rats. This is combat in Fallout. This is proper turn-based combat. It's not really all that deep. Just swing. At the poor rat, like he's not gonna follow me. I'm gonna kick his ass. Nope. Ouch. Three hit points right there, but I should kill him. Dead. More rats, as you could see, rats all around the cave. So we got plenty of work to do before we can get out of here. And I'm gonna try and kill all the rats because. Experience is something a of a very valuable resource. Let's call him that. Let's call it that. Experience in this game is earned by completing quests and by killing enemies. And uh, it allows us to increase our skills, increase our abilities, which uh, should come in handy. So, yeah. The vault, we don't, we're not really given much of an explanation uh, about um, about the world besides what I just told you. Uh, we know the war happened because of the, uh, basically, a resource war. The First, the petroleum uh, was a problem to start with, and uranium and all this sort of stuff. And China... I think, yeah, China attacked 
the U.S. Inv it invaded uh, Alaska, and uh, it then proceeded to invade uh, the mainland, uh, United States. But uh, their war effort was hampered by lack of fuel because they, of course, didn't have many for the tanks and that sort of stuff. So yeah, war nuclear warheads were dropped all over the world and uh, killed everyone and everything, and turned the wasteland, turned the world into a wasteland of baked scorched earth. <laughs> if you're a fan of scorched earth, right there, um, and um, and yes, this is a very bleak, uh, very bleak uh, game world. Very very inspiring. I love it. I love it to, be, to bits. This is, this was probably one of my first RPGs. I believe I played Diablo 1 before. Yes, I think I played Diablo 1 right around the time where when it came out. I hadn't, uh, I was still pretty young by then, so my introduction to proper RPGs was, um, was this game. Um, Interplay really played a very big role, not just for me, but for many like-minded teenagers I don't I'm I was 12 so I wasn't really a teenager at the time so I was I was I was 11 when I first played this game god how did I manage all the English and stuff I didn't really know a lot of English I don't really know a lot of English right now so <laughs> but anyway um this game is I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm presenting it to you, but you already know what it is because you are looking at me playing it. You're in here for the kicks of uh, watching somebody play this absolutely awesome game that you probably love, you know, very dear to your heart. And you're probably working or you're doing something else in your computer or somewhere else, and you're watching some random dude on the internet kicking a rat's ass. With a knife and failing at it because this rat is gonna bite my ass. Don't do it. Okay, let's take out our gun because I'm it's getting a bit tiresome. Let's look at our ranged combat. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I think I missed. <laughs> I went and killed the rat down there. This game has, um, as you saw during character creation, this game has a trait system where I'm kind of getting lucky with killing all these rats. This game has a trait system um, where um, where you can choose specific um, characteristics of your characters. One 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 of those is jinxed. Which is very interesting to play with, but I chose not to go with it because uh, it would make our it would require us to reload quite a bit. Jinx, basically, what it is is uh, as you probably have guessed, this game uh, focuses around chances and dice rolls and, uh, and that sort of stuff. So, Jinx basically decreases our luck to below what would normally be feasible and tolerable even and um, it means that we are constantly getting getting very very low die rolls and um, and uh, so do our enemies so combat really becomes a matter of uh, watching other people drop their guns and you drop your gun as well and uh, sometimes a critical hit or a critical miss happens. There are critical misses in this game, so uh, and when that happens, you might uh, lose all your ammo, or you might your gun might break, or you might hurt yourself. Down here we have the description to the west. You can see a natural light for the first time in your life. You are looking at the outside world. It's Twenty-seven years, Max over here never saw. The outside world, and I, there was something very get to see. This you might know what it is. I think this might be horned kangaroo bones, but you cannot be sure. They are too weathered to make a final determination. I know what that is by that description. 
but Maxwell over here does not. And in fact, it will not know for a little while longer, and hopefully for a very long while longer. Those things. Oh, we got an encounter. This is the world map, and we got jumped by... Holy... What is that? These are lesser mole rats, but they are not something to play around with. So let's try and kill them and shoot them in the eye. The descriptions down here, they are awesome. They are really something of an added extra flavor. I'm not sure that I'll be able to survive this encounter, so I'll get the hell out of here. I'll get the hell out! Seriously, dude, run away! And these mole-ass, slow-ass rats shouldn't pose too much of a problem and shouldn't be able to catch us as we run for our lives. There we go. So off we go to Vault 13. Getting a bit faster in the desert. What's this? Known. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. Please hold on that weapon while you're here. Sure thing, dude. Let's just open my inventory and put it away. Away it goes. Hello, dude. What's up? Good day. I'm called Seth. How can I help you? I like some information. Information? What do you want to know about? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and red scorpions, we would have no problems. Red scorpion. Those damn red scorpions have been after our Bremen since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to get, keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. Raslow, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. But if you have that, uh, the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? I might just do that. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to go to the red scorpion. You should speak to Aradesh. Yes, yes, I'll do that. There's this do that over here. Hello? Katrina, she's very she has a very pretty smile. Welcome to Shandy Sands, traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Oh yes, let's let's um um yeah, tell me about yourself. Fair lady. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a there was a schism, and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt, and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can get a doctor, you will need to heal yourself. Steam packs are a common healing item. Use them on yourself to heal minor, wound, minor wounds. First aid is a slower method, but it will always it is always available. For major wounds, like a broken leg, you will need to use your doctor's skill. Where can I get some equipment? You will have to do what you um, you will have to do what we do, scavenge it, or trade for it. And if you are attacked, your foes might provide equipment. If you live long enough to look corpses. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items that we could not produce. What about bartering? Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items and I give you items in trade. Since you initiated the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I will like, so you will probably want to give me some more valuable goods than you don't need in exchange for less expensive things that you want. And if you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found out there, out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so you can trade them anywhere. Tell me about this place. You are standing in shady sands. We are but a small town in a large world. We must want. We just want to be left alone. Besides, some mutated animals and our creatures of the desert, only the raiders give us trouble. Aradesh is our leader. He is in the large central house, if you wish to speak with him. And what about the rest of the world? I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me and I... What? Who's Dharma? I think it's... Kind of God, uh, and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. 
Have you spoken with Jan yet? He's a merchant. Uh, he's a merchant guard who was hurt. He's re he is recovering in the guardhouse over there. He points to the. East. He is more likely. Um, he is more widely traveled than I am. Should meet with Jan. Where was this vault of yours? It was vault fifteen. Oh, that's the vault we want. This due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. That's all for now. And we got some experience for speaking with her. That's nice. Hello, doggy. Oof, oof, he's... This game is, has a very nice mechanic where you can see the descriptions for a lot of stuff. For example, this thing over here is a pillar. But this pillar is the show, uh, showpiece of Shady Sands Square. It tells stories to remind people of hope and peace. But so let's speak with Jan. Where is Jan? Hello? Present. I hear that scorpion skill again last time. Let's see. Let's see. Welcome, stranger. We don't see you your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands doesn't need your kind. Oh, it's, it's kind of a redneck kind of thing. Uh, Shady Sands don't need your kind for the hub or junk town, wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. Last raider from the hub sold us malfunction irrigation pump. We had it with. We had it We, Sorry? We've had it with your dirty deals. You got it all. All wrong, I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You don't seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what, you should talk with Aradesh. He's, the, he's in the center of town, yes? No, you don't have much to tell me. Very nice looking chair. Nicely made table and made, but it looks much nicer than any table you've seen before. Yes. Can I pick this? Bullets and stuff, I want that. I can pick this. That's not big. Welcome, stranger. With I, I thanks, why? Oh, this is a small community. We don't see strangers often, so you don't need them. If you get my meaning, if you don't have a good reason to be here, you'll be. You'd be better just keep moving. I wasn't saying that he was gonna. I just better leave us alone. Why not make trouble? I don't want to pick a fight. A short, stocky man. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Maxwell. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? I was like, oh, that's yeah, that's Ian. I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world is my ex and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I get, I even get to visit Junktown or the hub. Uh, to do some training since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. Where's this hub? Young town. The hub is a big training center far north, far south and of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the crimson caravan and the Fargo traders. Young town is a little south and ways west. It's smaller but it's still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's over overseen by a fellow by the name of Killen... Killen? Killen. Killing dark water, local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. Okay, let's speak about. Tell me about Seth. Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Red Scorpions cave to kill a few Red Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There are just too many for him to fight. Are the Red Scorpions really that dangerous? They are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail and they are very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to Aradesh about them. Goodbye. Here we are. What about... Can you... Yeah, I saw this, this option right here. Could you help me out a bit? Hmm, tempting after offer, since uh, this place gets boring. Tell you what. Standard rates. 100 caps and you've got your, a deal. I don't think I have any caps. What about a piece of action instead? Oh yeah, alright, I'll get you. I'll help you out in exchange for my share of loot. Okay, let's go. I'll... It'll be good to get back into action. We got a friend! We got a... Someone... Who will help us during combat. As you can see... Let's see if we can... No, he doesn't like that. He 
He does not like that. So what I'll try to do, sorry about that creaky thing. What I'll try to do is try and steal from him. Give me that. You don't need steam packs. And you certainly don't need money. Also, what kind of equipment do you have? What happens are you skilled with? I'm a good shot with just about a sort of pistol and I can use a submachine gun too. Also I know how to handle a knife. Mm. Sort of combat tactics. I prefer range combat against closed and stick close best one. Yeah, that's that's good. This dude probably doesn't have anything else to say. I don't really want to steal anything from there. So let's talk with Aradesh and see what's up with the um, with the uh, red scorpion thing. I think he was in here. Where's Zion? Where's he? There he is. Just save the game for for a moment. Aradesh. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be. Hmm. Let's not divulge our reasons. I'm from a small village west of here, and I'm just exploring and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the west. Have you been through the mountains west of here? Uh, well, to my regret, I have not. Which begs the question, how did you make that passage? Uh, it was pretty tough. Yes, mm, yes, yes. <laughs> I shall believe you, for now. But we do not trust easily, especially those who might be dangerous. Know that Seth and I will be watching you. That's it? Nothing else? Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? I can tell me about Shady Sands. Sands. is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. What kind of things are around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I feel, quite intense this time of year. Hmm. Anything else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Yeah, a few more questions. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Uh, are the towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. Yes, yes. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Ian, Ian already introduced me to this. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Uh, you don't really have anything to say. So what's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of yes. rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from. And no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison. But I'm not sure how it goes. Maybe I'll get rid of these things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. He possesses far <laughs> more information on these creatures than I. Okay, okay. Talk with Roslo. But that's for the next episode. For now, thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, if you like this game, you're a great guy or girl. And uh, thank you for the support and for the view. And I hope you join me for the next episode of Fallout. See you then. Bye-bye.